Listen, Gary. Listen, uh, what did you see your name was? Jonathan. Jonathan? This deal sucks, man, okay? This deal is no I'd rather rip my eye out with this wrench than make this deal you're offering. I can do it real easy. Look how I just wraps around the eye and can just pop it out like that. Real simple stuff. Real nasty, free shit. Okay. My partner Gary and I won't tolerate this. Okay. No. Listen, this deal you're offering me is a junk. It's a bad deal, okay? Now I'll tell you what. If you don't offer me a good deal in like three seconds, you're gonna watch my eye explode and it's gonna get over your hand there. Over Gary? I'm good over Gary. You know, the eye contains a lot of fluid. Okay. What if I throw Gary at you right now? What are you going to do then? What am I going to do then? I'll bust the other eye open. You're going to bust the other eye? Yeah. What if I offer $25,000 right now? $25,000. Listen. 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 Billion dollar wrench, platinum plated. 
was the point of the steel again? Please remind me. You were going to, I was going to get you 60 large. Okay. And you were going to do scaffolding, you need scaffolding purpose for Gary's new arm restaurant. That's right, his arm restaurant. So only arms. Yes. Only certain things on arms. Shipping fingers or actual fingers? Okay. Yeah. Six large? Okay. 60 large. 60 large. Let's make it 600 large. 600 large? I'll give you the money. Um, the catch is it has to be in uh, ape coin. Ape coin? You can't do it in US dollar, it's gotta be. Or ape coin? It's, so it's $600,000 worth of board ape coin. I will put that into your wallet. I will give you the permit. Written in crayon, he can have the permit. He owes me 1% interest every month on his profits. How does that sound? Why not USD? Because I don't... Look, why only eight? So look, here's the thing. Is there something you're not telling me? Look, uh... Yeah. Maybe you heard the dollar is like, kind of fucked up right now, okay? So all my money's in eight coin. Okay, I could transfer it to dollars, but then like the exchange fees would kick in. It's in my interest to be it's gonna go up. Don't tell me when I said this, because this is insider trading. I have, it's gonna go up tenfold soon. How do you know that? How can you be so sure? I know Mr. Ape himself. He told me so. Maybe we should talk to Mr. Ape first. Mr. Ape isn't here right now. Okay, he's in, um... Why don't you talk to Mr. Ape? You let go of the wrench. Yeah, we can't do the deal now. Now get out of here. No, go back to, uh, wherever you're from, New York, okay? There's a man in the ceiling. <laughs> Somebody stop him, he's gone crazy. <laughs> ooga ooga. All right, so we're here. We're here at the negotiation table. What are your demands exactly? I mean, uh... I mean, what are you asking for? I want Ben Kanoff. Ben Kanoff? How am I supposed to get Ben Kanoff? He's a hard man to reach. Watch this movie with me. It's only okay. four minutes. Four minutes? Four minutes. He's the star of this. Well, there's some glare on your screen. Hold on, there we go. Okay. Look, the clock. This was directed, written, and he added it. All oh, Ben Kanoff. <clears throat> Look at those books. That is good. That's He's good. A knowledgeable man. He knows. He reads. There he is, that's his shoulder. That's his shoulder. That's his shoulder. And that, he loves Nick Cage. And that's Maxwell Vosper. No one cares about him. How do you turn the volume up on this thing? I need you to hear this part. This is your monitor. You're asking me how I can... Listen, it's Hold brand, down F in. It's brand new. Hold down F in and then I will... There we go. It's okay. brand new. Okay, let's go ahead. Great answer. Thank you, sir. Shut up. You come in here with your cheap suit? Have you seen the Batman? Yeah, it sucked. Yes, well, you know the Riddler guy, the guy that like... Yeah? Blew up the city? I do. I'm not gonna do that. Okay. I'm just gonna go to the zoo. I'm gonna shoot every gorilla in the zoo. It's gonna be a Harambe 2.0. If you don't give me this man that I... Okay, well how am I supposed to get Ben Kanoff? Okay. I don't know, you're the man, you the legend. Oh my god, it's Ben Kanoff! The guy from Kids for Day in the Sun! Look, this man is insane. He's saying he's gonna kill every gorilla in the zoo if you don't work with him on his next film. Harambe 2.0. Harambe 2.0? If you don't work with him. I have a movie pitch for you. Okay. I know you've been a little iffy on the film since this release, you know. You didn't get such a good rep, but I loved it. Thank you. I love the image you portrayed. Man of power. Just be literally like another man. So listen, there's this man. He's a little delusional, his best friend. It's a giant arm. I actually have the arm with me. It's this giant arm. I want you to be the man who's befriended this arm. 
That's fucking insane, man. What? What kind of writer are you? Listen. That's wait, the worst. Wait, wait, I'm not what? as good of a writer as the great Ian Riley. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's hear about him. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be. Hear honest. him out. Ben, this guy. Uh, I don't know. Gorillas. Yes. I kill gorillas. Yeah. Well, are they from the this zoo? This movie got me canceled. I haven't worked a day since. Okay. I need this job. How much are you willing to pay? Listen. What's the rate of pay? I will pay you five hundred eight coins. Five hundred eight coins. Those are worth about sixteen cents. Yeah, I need some money. I need something. You're living on scratch. That's right. You're practically homeless for my life. Exactly. Listen, and you know, that's 608 points. I might even bump you up to 603. 603? But that's that's obviously a minute, though. A minute? And 603, eight points a minute. A minute. That's a lot. Just to go around and play with this hand. Playing with the arm. That's a long tactic. You gotta do I appreciate your business. You too. Yes, I'm glad I can negotiate. When do we start shooting? About like three hours. <laughs> Please. Oh, fuck. I'm doing like Elizabeth YouTube vlogger filming. Else. Really, like, I'm I'm telling not or <laughs> what up, gang? This is the film lab. This is where we torture bad students. That's me. That's me. I've been an introvert for a while. This is me. You're gonna have to drink out here. Alright, let's go annoy Tyler. What's up, guys? Duke told us to film behind the scenes, so we're. Oh, this guy's gonna assault me. You guys have been here for what, like 15 minutes and it's still a blank page? Yeah. Just over there, just casually take that up and down. Whoa, look at the zoom. I can, I'm David Dobrik, guys. I can zoom. Wow. Whoa. No. Tell me more with this vlog idea. Let me zoom in more. There you go. Right into my nose. Yeah, right there. That's cinematic. Cin cinema. Yeah. Oh, you want me to just film? Yeah, no, just say something. There you go. Awesome. Fabulous. <laughs> you want to do it again? Alright. Yeah, that yeah. is Ian. Yeah. You're just making fun of me now? That's great. I mean... I watched the Ryan Gosling movie. It's just for some reason. It's Ian. Get a nice cinematic shot of this. <laughs> wow. I mean... Great. Thank you. The Good. settings were on so the image looks terrible. Yeah, no. Can I have this camera back? No. I want this camera. It's a film off. I'll film you, you film me. Anyways, <clears throat> look, um, 
Here's some entertainment. Um, yeah, look. Um, how you been doing? Been you know, enjoying your job at all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm really, really enjoying it. Like, just... Yeah. You been enjoying this job? That's what I want to do. Okay. You've been enjoying this job? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, that's cool. Um, and you're a pretty good employee. I won't lie. You know, you've been turning in your documents and whatnot on time. Thank you. Who left crumbs on this? Who definitely wasn't me. Look, um, you've been performing well, more or less. You've been really good at, you know, putting data into Microsoft Excel. Yeah, I mean, I'm doing that, that every fucking day for eight hours, five days a week. That's a really good job. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you bring me coffee really well. Except for that one time you put sugar in it. That was just a big mistake. That was the first day. You know, yeah, I, was, I know you like your clothes. Yeah, you know how it is. You know. But, uh, but here's the thing. Uh, this is why I brought you in my office. Um, you've been, you know, uh, some of these employees, they've, I've gotten some complaints. I won't lie. Um, a lot of complaints. In fact, nothing but complaints about you and your sour attitude. Um, now I get it, you know, your, both your parents died not too long ago. Um, I know your wife cheated on you with me. What, what? And that was just a joke. Um, oh, and, uh, oh, God. and, you know, I talked to your wife. She said, you know, you got a sour attitude all the time. You've been angry. You, you talked to my you've been, wife. You've been drinking a lot of sodas, a lot more sugar than you should have. Yeah, I drink a lot of pop. And, yeah. and um, you've been talking to my wife. Anyways, look, you've been making these girls uncomfortable at the job. Jessica. Okay. All I did was put my hand on her shoulder and ask her what her day was. You you thought you could get with Jessica. I mean, you put her hand on her shoulder, you talk to her. Okay, you're trying to seduce her. Look, I know you. Don't lie to me. I have literally slept with every girl in this office. I know what it's like. I know how you talk to these girls. You put your hand on your shoulder. Who are you kidding? I know your intentions with this girl. I'm not gonna hate. I'm just saying, why her? She's too pretty for you. You're not good enough. You're not good looking enough. You don't make enough money. You, you uh, you're not Sigma. You're not Alpha, like me. I respect women. I have a wife. I would never try to cheat on my wife and sleep with other women. I just, she just had, like, an illness. I was just checking out how, how she was. Like, a, a friend, a nice girl. I respect women. You respect women? Of all color, you respect age. you. That's funny, man. Anyways, uh, you know, it's not just the women that are uncomfortable, it's me, you know? How? Um, honestly, it's your fashion. You, you wear a t-shirt to work. Okay, I can do it. I'm the boss. I'm the decider. Listen, uh, look, what else was I gonna bring up? You've been taking too many bathroom breaks. I take one a day. One a day. Listen, I wear a catheter. I never take a bathroom break. I'm just grinding and hustling, making serious money. I just wear a diaper. I never take a bathroom break. Maybe you should learn from the best. Me. Start doing that. What do you think? Is that, is that an arm? Wait, what do you think? Remember Johnson? That's his arm. That's Johnson's arm. No. That's the last guy I fired. He had the ugly tattoo of a bird. That's gonna be you in a second. If you don't stop respecting women, stop respecting women. Within my own